This episode of Taz I Help is brought to you by GoDaddy. What's up guys, it's time for another episode of Question Time, the series where you guys ask me questions and I answer it in video. As you can see, or maybe I guess you can't really tell, but I'm in LA still. I, right now I'm in my next house, another Airbnb place I'm renting. I've got this place for like the next nine days, it's a really nice place. Uh, and that's where I'm going to be filming the video from. And if you're wondering, if you can hear the sounds uh, coming from the road out there, there's cars going by constantly. And I don't really have much of an option, so you may hear that. I just deal with it. First question is from Brad Caldwell. He says, what are your thoughts on the Sony RX100 so far? So in case you guys didn't see it in my vlog already, I actually got the new Sony RX100 M3. Uh, this camera's been out for a little bit over a month, I think. Uh, it's a really, really nice camera. I got this camera uh, to upgrade the quality of my vlogs. Normally, I've been using this camera right now that I'm recording with, the GoPro Hero 3 Plus, which I may switch back to it. I'm really just, uh, I bought this camera just to kind of test it out. The quality is really amazing. Uh, the audio sounds really, really good too. Plus, uh, for vlogging, you got this flip up screen. It's really, really nice. I love this camera. My only problems with it is that it's a little bit big, uh, at least compared to the GoPro. You can see it in my hand now. Uh, it's not too big, but it, it is a little heavy. Uh, it's different than using the GoPro. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. And the wide angle on the GoPro, as you see, I'm getting this whole room in shot, uh, whereas this kind of just gets like my shoulders and head if I'm holding it like this. Uh, but again, it's just something that I'm going to have to get used to. Otherwise, freaking amazing camera. I have absolutely no complaints about it. Next question is from John Gris, and he says, would you like to see a touchscreen iMac or MacBook? Personally, I wouldn't really care to use a touchscreen iMac or laptop. I think it'd be better maybe for an iMac just because it's got that big screen if you're working like at a desk or whatever. I will say a few times though, I have used my MacBook and accidentally touched the screen just because I'm so used to using touchscreen devices, I guess. Like I'll touch on an icon or something thinking I'm gonna actually click it by touching the screen. I'm like, oh yeah, wait a minute. That's not a touch screen. Logan asks, what is the next big feature that you want to see in the iPhone 6? Well, aside from all the other cool stuff that's going to come in the iPhone 6 that we've heard rumors about, uh, the main thing I think I would want is a better payment system. I don't want to carry around a wallet anymore other than like cash. I want my debit cards and everything else to be built right into my phone so that I want, when I want to pay for something, I can just hold my phone up and it pays for it. Whether it's NFC or a new technology Apple's going to use, whatever it is, I want Apple to do it and that's something I would want to see in the iPhone 6. Otherwise, in the iPhone 6, I want the bigger screen. I want the phone to be faster and I want a better camera. Uh, not that I really need it, I just want it. If you, you're asking what I want, that's the stuff I could use an iPhone 6. Colton asks, what are your thoughts on iOS 8 Beta 4? So if you guys see my last video about iOS 8, I was ranting about it. Because uh, right now I'm on iOS 8 Beta 3 on my phone. I've yet to update to Beta 4. And the reason for that is, is because I don't have enough space on my phone. I went through and tried to clear out as much stuff as possible. I'm just going to have to go through and do it again and, and just delete some stuff that I don't want to. Uh, but I need 3 gigabytes free on my phone uh, to download iOS 8 Beta 4. I really want to update to it because hopefully uh, it's going to fix a lot of the bugs and problems, stuff like that that I was having. Uh, but yeah, I just haven't got around to it yet because I've got to delete some stuff on my phone and I don't want to delete stuff on my phone, but uh, I do want to update iOS beta 4, so I'm just going to have to do it. But yeah, hopefully it's better. Have you guys updated to it? Let me know. Cyprian asks, what do you think of the Sapphire display on the iPhone 6 and will Apple overprice a new iPhone? So if the rumors are true and the iPhone 6 is going to get that Sapphire display, I'm really, really excited about it. If you guys actually seen MKBHD's video uh, that he did about it, he was like testing the iPhone 6 screen and like trying to scratch it and stuff like that. Uh, and it pretty much wouldn't scratch unless you use like a material that's harder in Sapphire, which uh, you're probably not going to be scratching against your iPhone. Pretty much, if you want to scratch the screen on the iPhone 6, you're going to actually have to go and intentionally try to scratch it. You can still crack it and everything, uh, but as far as scratches, it's going to be resistant. Now, as far as the price, will they make it more expensive? I don't really know. I think the 5.5 inch, if they actually do end up doing that, uh, that one may be a little bit more expensive, but I think the, the 4.7 inch version will probably be about as much as the iPhone 5S is now, about 200 bucks, and they'll just drop the price of this. Otherwise, uh, they may make it a little bit more expensive. Hopefully not. I guess we'll just really have to wait and see, but I think personally, uh, it'll be about the same price for the, the smaller uh, iPhone 6. Pat asked if you're recording this queue time and Steve Jobs' ghost walked into the room and you had 10 seconds to speak to him, what would you say? Well, if Steve Jobs' ghost walked into the room right now, I probably wouldn't want to say anything. I would probably be freaked out and just run out of my house and not come back in here. I would leave all my equipment, all my bags, my clothes and everything. I, I would be gone. But if I wasn't freaked out and I was okay with Steve Jobs' ghost just walking into the room, uh, and I could talk to him for 10 seconds, that's not really much time, I would probably just be like, what is it like being a ghost? And what happens after you die? Because you died and now you're just standing here right in front of me. I probably wouldn't ask him anything about Apple. <laughs> Mallory asked, will we be getting a 4.7 or a 5.5 inch iPhone? 
As most of you guys probably already know, I'll be getting both iPhones, the 4.7 and the 5.5 inch, as long as everything works out okay, uh, because I'm gonna be doing video stuff like that on it for you guys. I have to like compare the two sizes, show what they look like, I have to do speed tests, stuff like that, and obviously the review on both. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those when the 4.7 and 5.5 inch iPhone 6 come out. I will of course be getting both of them. Parker asked, what are your thoughts on the new version of OS X and would you consider trying it? So actually today Apple opened it up so you can try uh, the new version of OS X. It's like a preview or a beta or whatever, but I'm not going to be installing it on my computer and I don't really care about trying it, uh, at least right now. As you guys see right there, there's my computer. That's the only computer I've got with me right now. It's my daily computer. I do all my videos on it. I work on it daily. I can't have a preview or a beta software installed on that. And I advise you guys to do the same. If you've got like an extra computer or something you can install on that you don't use daily, I go ahead and give it a try if you want to. I'm pretty excited for it. I'm just not going to install it on my daily machine because I know there's going to be bugs. I know there's going to be problems with it. Uh, that's the point of these things. I already had that experience with my iPhone and I cannot have that uh, with my computer. I need it to work. But yeah, I am excited for it. I'm just not installing it right now uh, because I can't deal with the bugs. But let me know how you guys like it. If you get to check it out, uh, let me know in the comments and give me your thoughts. Jose asked, what are your thoughts on 3D printing? 3D printing is seriously going to be the future. It's going to change the future. Like five, 10 years from now, there's not going to be assembly lines of stuff that make products like different Different parts of it and then put it all together it's going to be a 3d printer that has all the materials everything like that in it and just starts from scratch and builds stuff from the bottom up like maybe a car or a refrigerator or furniture whatever it may be no matter what kind of tech and stuff are in it like for example a car it's going to build the wheels and then it's going to start building the body and it's going to build the engine and all the tech and start from the bottom up 3D printers are going to change the world. There are, they already are now, uh, and they're just getting started. Trust me, they are going to be amazing. Anything like you see around your house, uh, if it could actually be printed, it's going to be printed. And the thing is, 3D printers are just gonna get cheaper and cheaper, and so are the materials, like all the stuff that's gonna go into it. So eventually, instead of like going online and shopping for something or going to the store and buying something like a wrench, you're just going to go to your printer and go to your computer and print it out. That blows my mind. Printing out objects from your computer. Physical 3D objects that you can use, like tools and stuff like that. It's crazy. Darby asked, what's your favorite memory so far being in Cali? My favorite memory so far was actually just the other day, and I vlogged it. If you guys want to check it out, I vlogged the whole day. Uh, we pretty much went to Eaton Canyon. We went hiking there. I walked all the way through that, got to the end, uh, where there's a waterfall and like a little nice pond to sit in, so that was really cool. It was a nice hot day, uh, and then when we got there, we finally got to cool off in the water, and then we came back. I got some food, and then we went hiking again uh, to the top near where the Hollywood sign is, near Wisdom Tree. I got to check that out. It was a super good time, really fun day. I had a lot of fun, good exercise out in the sun with good friends. Uh, yeah, it was just a really, really, really good time. And I'm really happy I vlogged it too because I can go back anytime and just watch that and relive that experience. Megan asked, would you ever consider having a permanent residence in Los Angeles in the near future? I'm not really sure yet. I like LA and I've enjoyed my time here. I'm not really ready to leave yet, uh, but I am excited to go to San Francisco and Seattle after this. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I like LA. I just don't know if I could call this place home. Uh, maybe for like a year or two I could live here. I think that would be good for me. I Even just a small amount of time I've been out here, I've already made so many connections, new friends, and, and just done so much awesome stuff. Uh, so I definitely think this is a good place to live for a little bit, uh, but just not uh, like a long time at least. David asked, what's the most useful technology thing you are using for this trip in LA? This trip would have pretty much been impossible, at least for me, if it wasn't for my iPhone. Like seriously, I have used this thing so much for calling Uber cabs, uh, for Lyft, for Airbnb, for looking for directions, for places to eat, uh, places we're gonna stay. Like this phone has helped me so much. I would have had like had to use a map to get around. I wouldn't know how to do that. I, like I probably wouldn't have been able to do this trip if it wasn't for my iPhone. Seriously, I've used my laptop a lot too. But as far as like just the trip in general and getting around and stuff, there's no way I could have done it if I didn't have my iPhone. I mean, I could have had an Android phone or another kind of phone, but there's no way I could have done it without a smartphone, at least. I'll say that. It's crazy how much like technology helps our daily life, and we don't even like think about it. So there you guys go. That's all the questions that I have time for today. Right, now, before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Put your website to work while you play. A website is online 24-7, so no matter where you are or what you're doing, people can still find you online. Start your website today with GoDaddy, and you'll get a domain for $1.99. Just use the code 199HELP at checkout. The website is GoDaddy. 
GoDaddy.com. And again, the promo code is 199HELP for a $1.99 domain. Some limitations apply, so see their website for all the details. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. I have more videos like this. And then also make sure you check out my daily vlog channel. Again, if you want to see the quality of the RX100, uh, right there's a link right there, youtube.com slash time off. I'll put links down below in the description. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google Plus, the links are down below. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.